with the government spending billions of shillings annually on sourcing of software, as well as upgrade of information and communication technology resources. A new partnership has today been signed off with global giant Microsoft. If they can come and impart those skills on Ugandans to be able to develop applications on international parameters, such that if I take it and I want it to be bought or procured anywhere in East Africa, and it went through the ecosystem or the cycle that Microsoft uses to develop systems, it is acceptable anywhere in the world. So, so for us, that's the idea. The Skilling Corporation will be riding on Microsoft's ongoing program across the continent's emerging markets by way of riveting the localization initiatives on ICT. Not just about those hard technical skills in the marketplace. So we're certainly well positioned to address that skill set. And a large part of this initiative with government is to help plug that gap and make sure that that skills development happens appropriately. But it's also about the skills around the modern workplace. This partnership comes at a time when some key entities of government, such as the Ministry of Finance, have since highlighted the cost challenges in upgrading the integrated financial management information system. So you have six districts, nine, 196 sub-counties, 203 town councils, all these put pressure on the IFM web. ICT sector players, on the other hand, clarify that domesticating the sourcing of such softwares, besides sliding down costs worth billions of shillings, also guarantees easy upgrades. For, for every accounting unit that is created, it must have an account within the system. So they must create the profile of that, of that entity. And Reina Ojun, NTV Business.